Good evening, morning, or whatever it is, wherever you are, be it Twitch or YouTube. This is uh, Encounter Roleplay, and my name is Strider Heap. I'm going to be running you through episode seven, something of Rise of the Dark Side tonight. Let's go around our cast and crew, introduce ourselves. <clears throat> uh, let's see. We missed our rap intro last week. Uh, Giovanno, Grant, how's it going? Let me tell you about my man named Strider. He's the guy that's going to ride her. No, sorry. I, uh, <laughs> I took it too far already. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and that's this type of show around. tonight. <laughs> I was at I was at Origins uh, Game Fair last week, as I said, pre-game, and uh, yeah, I'm down and dirty tonight. I'm excited to be back as Giovanno. Um, I'm hoping that uh, my head cannon ship will continue uh, with Javin. Just kidding. Um, but uh, yeah, we had some uh, recaps uh, in our Twitter, and I'm scared, man. I'm excited to be here though. Yeah, you got a lot to catch up on. <clears throat> okay. Uh, Kayla, is it you that's going to be playing this evening? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, sorry. This is Coco. He's the most important. He's just shy. Um, but yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm excited. Still playing Spore. Still freaking out. Still upset with the children. As always. Ah. Uh. I am happy Coco is here. Uh, Coco can play Gone this session. <laughs> uh, let's oh, see. Yeah. Amber, <laughs> Lyra, yes. how you doing? Tell I'm who good. You're I'm playing Lyra, a uh, Twi'lek Jedi Guardian, um, also Geo's older sister. Uh, yeah. She's a good raver, we good dancer. Super good raver. It's canon. Crash calls for the ravers. <laughs> been doing a little less raving recently and a little bit more emotions. And feeling. Crying? Yeah. <laughs> Which that's all normal Jedi stuff. Jedi do all of those things, I'm sure. Yeah. We had some bombshells dropped last week. Uh, Shauna, how is Pow doing? Can you tell us a little bit about her? Are you excited? I'm excited. Pow is a mess right now. But she's in control of the ship, so how is a Zabrak soldier, and more importantly, Mandalorian, and she wants to go home, and she is now a, I guess, a criminal now, since we stole Javin's ship and our encounter stealth ship, so let's see what happens. <laughs> you folks are a lot of things. Uh, criminal? We'll see, that might be among them. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's get into today's show. Before we begin, uh, Lindy is not here. Ezla will be having to be played by me, I guess. I will try to do her uh, proud and not <clears throat> not have Lindy return to a uh, ghost next session. But anyway, before we begin, I'll remind you guys, we're sponsored by uh, Fantasy Grounds. You can try Fantasy Grounds for free at fantasygrounds.com. And, of course, as always, I'm sure you will see the little bloopy thingy somewhere. Waylandgames.co.uk. Huge range of D&D, Warhammer, 40k minis. My thing was updated. It says 20% off, so go check it out. Finally, this is an interactive stream. That's what all those little blue dots on these player screens are. Those are nat 20s. Automatic successes that have been donated to the game. I hate those. Let's also donate some <laughs> Nat ones. Automatic failures that I can invoke at any time. Counterbalance some of that. Or you can donate other stuff like wild magic surges, enemies, uh the, the list is there. And if you're feeling maniacal, look through it. Uh of course, when we get twenty followers, we get a viewer decision. I think the last viewer decision was uh mouse droids packed to C4 were going to flood in and drown the party in either mouse droids or fire. Uh, same goes for retweets. When this tweet I'm going to put in chat it's 20 retweets. We'll have another viewer decision. <clears throat> anyway, without for, uh, further ado, we have some recap to get through, I believe. 
Quite a bit happened last session. The party found themselves in caves on the planet known as Dantooine, picking out crystals to make their own lightsabers. They were beset by the viewer decision, explodey, fiery, mousy dudes. Meanwhile, old Jedi tactician gone left them a message on their phone, uh, voicemail, whatever it is Jedi have, <clears throat> saying that he thinks Jabin might be disappointed. There is a potential assassin, but it's probably not Bolera, like Jabin thinks it is. In fact, he thinks it's the mysterious Kazim. They rushed back to Coruscant to talk to him and figure out why he came to the conclusion he did, and gone died. They found his corpse uh, burned in a burning building in a little motel. Spore was able to determine that the cause of death was electrocution. The, uh, the circuit being made from Gon's feet to the floor. And probably not fire. The kid poured over J uh, Gon's old files, finally stumbling upon an old USB drive that had all kinds of notes, files, video clips talking about their master Javan, how the only Padawan he took he might have become a little too close with and <clears throat> the Jedi do forbid romance after all uh, after she died Javan became a recluse and more importantly they found a video clip the last private conversation between Gon and Javan where Gon let Javan in on a little secret the Jedi known as Pow is not really a Jedi at all and is not an outcast from Mandalore but was kidnapped gone felt she had an important role to play in the protection of the galaxy and thought her role would be best be served at the Jedi Temple that is why communications have broke down with Mandalore uh, the planet and their ruler both using uh, the same title Pow took that information about as well as you could expect. Uh, <laughs> Javan's spaceship has been hijacked. The kids are now uh, hurtling through space on their way towards Mandalore. <clears throat> of course, the trip, this is D&D, does not go over as well as it could. Halfway through the trip, a ship uncloaks, watching the party. A battleship with all kinds of high-tech gadgets, uh, much, much more firepower than this little falling apart thing they're flying. And they can recognize it as the ship that's been besetting them with these explosive mouse droids uh, for the last couple of weeks. There's wavers in the air, the ship uncloaks. You can see guns trained on you. What do you all do? Uh, scream. Yeah, same. <laughs> I don't. I calm my emotions, show no fear, but I still light one of my Twi'lek cigarettes. <laughs> Lyra turns around. Where did you get that? <laughs> I'm a friend. <laughs> a friend. Pow is currently in the pilot's seat. Mm -hmm. Who is playing co-pilot? I think, I think it was Lyra. I am, I was doing, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. an astrogator. Yeah, but you were too busy smoking cigarettes last time. <laughs> Look. Trying to okay, quit. Lyra shrieks and... <laughs> we'll just say the two twins are just wedged together. Yeah. You guys are smooshed are. together in the co-pilot's chair. We're we tied our head tails together as... Bodies in we, a become, <laughs> we have become one. The rockets yes. are set on your current position, uh, being able to home in on your spaceship. Guns are lowered and pointed at your ship and you receive a request to accept communications I do I, yeah. this is Captain Giovanno of the Starship Enterprise <laughs> <laughs> yes sorry <laughs> and Kayla tweets and like I'm like <laughs> Make it I mean, I was yes. I was okay with I, the the Star Trek part, not the Captain Giovanno part. I get it. 
This is as uh, you're, well as you're talking. Spore's just screaming really loud. By the way, he's just like ah, clutching Isla. There is no visuals. No, no face is being displayed. Just silence for a minute. Then a voice. Captain Giovanno. So there is no Javin on this ship. The ceremonial title. We have no Javins here. There's silence for a moment. Little gun batteries fold in. There's uh, quite a less number of blasters being pointed at you. I'm going to place your ship in a tractor beam. You will comply, you will lay down all firearms. I will be boarding your ship momentarily. Aye, aye. Uh, and to who am I speaking to? I just want to make sure I run the good list. Communication is ended. The call oh, abruptly man. quits. You are not okay, in any kind of tractor you. beam. There's no kind of tractor beam activated yet. What do you all want to do? Mm. Are there secret compartments we can hide in? Yes, like oh. on the floor of the ship that we can go into. I mean, who's like, the best maybe diplomat they... at us? I'm the best liar, God, no. Uh, no. and I am pretty. Di- di- <laughs> but I'm not a diplomat, and I'm, I'm not. No, I, like. I'm not. <laughs> okay. Um, so, what is our goal when they come on? How? What is your goal in this situation? And I will make sure we achieve it. When they come um, on board, how do you want this to turn out? We have to get on that ship. Because if we can't, okay. Because we can't. This is a piece of sh- this ship is trash, and we can't fight this advanced craft in this. Like we have to find a way. Do we go as? Do we go as prisoners or conquerors? We have to go as conquerors. We're not going to get out of this if we go as prisoners. Do you think we why can handle both? this guy coming over? Yeah, hmm? why, why not both? Come on, guys. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to sneak on. Mm. Take as do, many what, do one of us want to pose as a prisoner? Mm. I don't know. Why would a bunch of I kids can... have a random prisoner? I'll mm. be the prisoner. <laughs> yeah, oh, yes. Let's take poor prisoner. <laughs> I mean, they obviously know who we are. Holds at this my point. lightsaber up. <laughs> I, yeah. I feel like the safe, the safest opportunity here is to just be a prisoner. So, yeah, I'll be the fake I prisoner. Attach, I don my fake mustache, so I look a little older. Um, yeah, it's a mustache. Uh, yeah, I curl it out, and then uh, I have no hair to slick back. Um, the uh, fake mustache I everyone knows to... does confer him a plus one bonus on his next uh, mustachio <laughs> check. Yes, I'm, I'm pretty good at disguising. Uh, and so essentially, um, I'm actually great at disguising. So uh, I'm going to essentially try to pass myself off as uh, I'm in charge of this vessel. We need to go as conquerors. So I'm thinking I keep them distracted, maybe take them on a tour of our ship while you guys uh, slip on and take it over. I'll be right behind you. I don't know. Okay. I missed last week, so uh, my judgment may be off. We don't know who these people are, so that might be a good idea. Got it. The doorway will open after some time. There's some clanking. The control of your ship is wrestled away from you if you don't try to fly away. You can hear the boarding craft connect. There's some um, Recompression between the chamber between the two ships. Where are you guys going to stand? Just um, there's going to be a hallway connecting uh, right off of the loading ramp, the same way you'd normally get on and off the ship. Are you guys going to be standing right there? Are you hiding back somewhere else in the ship? No, yeah, I'm. Uh, someone has to be in the cockpit of all t- at all times. Um, someone might want to hide. I don't think we have like a gunner's port. 
I'm trying we to have, think. Someone, yeah. We have the training room that we can hide in. Ooh. Yes. We also have the place where we dissected the droids. Um, mm-hmm. I'm willing to wear my Jedi robes and kind of try to pass myself off as Captain Giovanno. <laughs> uh, and, think- uh... Lyra would probably want to stand up front next to Geo just to be a protector. Yeah, I need that. She's my muscle. Yeah. She, like, um, puffs out her chest. Yeah. How will we with Spore and Ezla and just prepare to ambush if things go bad? Spore, ambush. Ah! Sorry. Yeah, just <laughs> run in the other direction. <laughs> You know, just so we have, you know, distraction. We, we have Lyra and Giovanno up front. The spore, where were you? Uh, I'm with Powell. And as well, well, you say, uh, in the training room, are you doing any prep in there, or are you just uh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. okay? So now that I see the ship, that changes the way I would have responded. Oh, hang on. Mm. We do have a picture that's we can probably pop sp- up on screen. Yeah, that's a fire spray class. Oh. Yeah. Popularized by both Bubba and Jingo Fett. Um, cool. Yeah, sorry. It has space for six prisoners inside. Um, so are we going to the old... plan? Now, we'll, we'll see if they take me captive. I don't think they will. Mm. I'm actually tall too. I'm six foot four. Me and Lyra, yeah. we're like two like gods that stand before them. <laughs> yes, gods <laughs> is a good term for that. Uh, our, like, two blue dresses. Adonis teenagers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wearing a fake mustache. <laughs> I look at you like take that thing off. It's creepy. The uh, doorway to the far ship. You can hear opening. As you do, you hear high-pitched beeping. Uh, little squeaks. Motors as <clears throat> wheels spin. The door to your spaceship will open, and little tiny mouse droids flood the floor. Mm-hmm. There's dozens upon dozens. They're squeaking. The they, <laughs> they drive right up to you. A couple of them bumping into your feet and spinning around. There's no man standing there to greet you, just a little black sphere of a droid. Well, I, for one, welcome our new mouse droid overlord, so... Um, uh, ha, ha. Uh, yes, so there's there's a sphere. Have I seen a sphere like this before? Is it similar to the ones I destroyed? Uh, exactly, the these are the eyes. Up? Yeah, exactly. These are the eyes of the mouse droids. <clears throat> eyes Your of the mouse droid. Little speaker is a PA system, and Javin's ship is hijacked. The same voice as earlier. The five of you will enter my ship with no weapons. You understand. Um, under why? Why do you need us to enter your ship? I have to know for what cause I'm going in. Ah, you are not Javin, and I believe the term is live bait. I beg your pardon. Oh. Javin will certainly be drawn out to finally come and face me if if the hostages are slowly offed one by one. Mm. Offed one by one? We definitely can't go in there without our weapons. You definitely don't have to go in there. (laughs) Yeah, that's (laughs) you. So here's the deal. Um, 
Uh, uh, there's only one of us. It's me, Captain Geo. And I cannot allow myself to be taken hostage willingly. You have to come and get me. Go ahead I'm and surrounded roll some by kind of charisma check. Yeah, yeah I've got I've And, got and the surveillance droid is looking at you and Lyra right now. But yes. go ahead and roll so, some kind of charisma based right check. Yeah, I get a plus six. Um, so it's decent. Um, uh, yeah, but let's. I, ah! Sorry. Holy moly. Uh, yeah, it's. My keyboard did really weird things. Apologize. Concentrate! Sorry. Thank you for the bits, Mitchin. Um, we were cheered. 21. 21. <clears throat> There's silence for a second. Almost complete radio silence, that is. <clears throat> There's little whispers mumbling uh, to themselves. It could, could be. It could blow them up right now. And... And where's Jarvin? Could... Could kill them all. All right, fine. It sounds like fun. Prepare to be wrangled. Hey. So, um... Am I able... I'm skilled in this. Am I able to affect mind? It'd be extremely difficult without being able to actually have uh, visuals on your target, but you could try. Okay. Well, then I go ahead and use a nat 20 uh, to affect his mind and uh, let him know that Javan and the five he's looking for are not here. And, uh, but he will ask me for more information face to face. With In other words, words, I'm 20, trying to convince him to come and interrogate me face to face. You, you might need to repeat yourself a couple of times over the communication. The, the general vibe you're getting is this mind might already be being a little affected, not by the force, just okay. you might not be speaking um, to the uh, clearest yeah. mind. That being said, eventually you will receive a. There's there's no there's no job in. Oh. <clears throat> I'll come here, ask you questions in person. And you can't lie to me. I can't. All right, guys, uh, this is where you use your cool lightsabers. And he drops an eight piece. Oh, wait, I'm so connected. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Gio, We're going to make I, sushi rolls out of this guy. Do you want me to stand in a different room since you said he's you're alone? Uh, Yeah. Can I, like, what's Ooh, the closest? I'll remind you, the surveillance droid is just sitting there watching you. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> and then what's the point? Staring. <laughs> like, You're you didn't see anything. <laughs> no. Kayla, I'm squinting at you. I see you in chat right there. I'm squinting at you. <laughs> That's what I thought of immediately. Oh. Are you the key master? Sorry. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I want to do the whole <laughs> rant no, when they go to the party yeah. he's talking to. That's oh, what you should have done. Not going <laughs> there's a huge thud as if there's a couple hundred pounds of metal falling down a ladder. You hear steps walking, metal boots on metal floor. Uh, remind me again. Spore and power. Where exactly are you then? Yeah, we're in the um, training room. Mm -hmm. Okay. The training room doesn't have uh, direct visuals. Uh, if he sees Grant and Amber, he's not necessarily going to be able to see you. Mm -hmm. Man rounds the corner wearing a conglomeration of armors. Uh, a good bit of it, at least the chest piece and uh, chest piece and boots are Mandalorian make. <clears throat> the gloves are mismatched. The greaves are mismatched. It seems as though they've been collected. The head you see is reptilian. 
green scaled skin, huge, huge eyes <clears throat> with slits and horizontal linking. <clears throat> it has pistols on its side. It has a bandolier equipped with many thermal detonators, the Star Wars equivalent of very, very powerful yeah. grenades. Cool. And a blaster rifle in its arms. The green creature blinks a little unevenly. <clears throat> Where? Where are the others, then, Captain? Well, uh, there was a bit of a disagreement. I had to load those suckers up in a pod and shoot them off where they are drifting. Thank you so much, Greyhawk Channel, for the 300 bits. I love you with my heart. Um, Thank you. We had to jettison them. They became unruly. They began to mutiny against my rule, and I let them know I don't take shit off no droids. <laughs> Roll Especially me another mold covered kind ones. All right. Um, diplomacy. Or... I'm gonna use my my last nat twenty, I think, uh, <laughs> to to do it. So I got a twenty six. The nat twenties are drained. Yes. Uh, this information takes a while to really click with this man. Janet, then, 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 who am I taking hostage? Well, how am I going to bring Jobin here to kill him? What you do is we give you a recording of one of his former pupils. I've been recording them in secret this whole time. Um, and you play the recording, and uh, it'll sound like you have him. Javin's not very bright. He'll come like a <laughs> pig to the trough. Javin is the most t talented warrior in the galaxy. Anyone anyone that could, could kill him would skyrocket to the number one bounty hunter uh, in the entire galaxy. This is right. true. Where he was a yes. Where are your recordings? Here, let me take you. Uh, they're in the training room. I've stashed them in the toilet bowl. Come on. They're in the training room, toilet bowl. Yeah. I have to reach then, down deep. It's hard. Then I have no need of you if I know where they are. Well, no, you don't know how to get back there. You also don't know the code to get in. Plus, if you don't have me unlock it for you, you're going to get vaporized. It's the training room, man. <laughs> the Come on. reptilian Come eyes think for a second. He doesn't step forward. Is he like a Trandoshan or a Arable? What is he? Do I know? I have a training in alien species. I can roll if you'd like, but... Uh, no, it's pretty obvious. Uh, I will get you the thing I'm thinking about. I was thinking okay. maybe something a little closer to a uh, Trandoshan. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So, all right. As I come here, my friend, let me uh, let me take you back there. I'll make sure that uh, you know there's no pew pew as you come in. No disintegrations, as we like to say here in the uh, outer rims. And uh, you'll be pretty good. So I invite him to follow me to the training room. Not... Not smart. If your opponent has all the cards in their hands, all the chips on their side of the table. <clears throat> well, what about that one? We don't need that one. Well, look, I had a similar story door. about trees and stuff. So chips and tables, trees, toothpicks, all that. But come on, come on. He motioned towards me. Uh, uh, both you and uh, the Transocean. And uh, I'm kind of was. <laughs> come on, boy. Come on. Let's go. My dog just came <laughs> up to me. He's like, what's up? <laughs> oh, <God>. no. <laughs> <laughs> Lyra the along. woman. We, we don't need the woman. I'll go if we place her in my brig, so 
I have chips. Yes, then I'll have chips. And then, then I will go. No, she's, look. She's, she's got things she needs to do. The ship does not run itself. But she'll go to your brig. But you come with me. <laughs> that was yes. up, Lyra. Uh, Lyra, like, Lyra's, like, kind of <laughs> staring at him like she didn't quite get it at first. And then she's like, oh, oh um, right. I'll go to your brig. And then she steps, like, backwards, like, one step. <laughs> His eyes dart back and forth. He's thinking to himself. It takes her a while. She's simple. Of course you will. <laughs> she is like her um, head tails are like flicking at you and you can hear like in your head. She's just like, oh my oh, God, yeah. I'm going to just punch you so hard. <laughs> She's my younger sister after all. Ooh. <laughs> I got all the good genes and then out she came. You hear like a snort from behind him. <laughs> She's what just are these, like, like head snorts, like a... <laughs> Sorry, head tail yeah. snorts. It's a thing now. Um... Or, like, <laughs> even though she's got blue skin, you can see, like, the color in her face, just, like, red. Just She's, like... The man kind of relaxes, <clears throat> lets go of one of the hands on the big rifle and slumps it up against their shoulder. What, what am I worried about? Uh, <clears throat> number, number one, bounty hunter. Uh, soon to be. He reaches into a little pouch, pulls out what looks like a small black handle with a little red button on top. Uh, you were always the number one bounty hunter in here. In here. You, you're, you're smart, Twi'lex. You, you wouldn't do anything stupid. I've done many stupid things, but I've learned my lessons. A clawed thumb yeah. kind of traces little circles over the top oh, of the red button. No, 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 no. Right. no, no, no. All right, I'm going to get you the training room. I'm going to get you my. Ca- All right, let's go back to the I'll training room. You. And then I kind of do this like weird, like uh, uh, Dick Van Dyke penguin walk from Mary Poppins to the training room because I'm feeling kind of heebie jeebie. That is the day Giovanno discovered that adrenaline is brown. <clears throat> the little ah. mouse droids stay uh, <laughs> underfoot the entire time, just barely moving so you don't step on them. Little red lights are uh, blinking as in, in an ocean around your feet. But the man will follow you wherever you want to take him. I'm taking him to the training room. Is that where you were hiding, guys? Because if it's not, he's going to kill me. Oh, which yeah. may be good Ooh, for the party. I'm ready. <laughs> the Spore I'm ready. and Pow, do you have any kind of training uh, simulations up and running actively or is it just going to be the big empty room um I have something right uh, uh Spore's going to be panicking so <laughs> I don't know that he's going to be any help you're just going to have to prevent him from screaming yeah I'm just going to have like just like a static like just pick a um program at random just and just kind of get ready I, i'm gonna basically shoot anything that comes into that door that's not one of our people okay <laughs> okay uh firearms training definitely sounds like the thing you'd want that <clears throat> mm-hmm. there's cover all around there's little targets that once the training starts can pop up and shoot at the doorway or shoot at whoever's standing right there <clears throat> Uh, Giovanno, he follows behind you. You lead the way into the training room. <clears throat> but this uh, reptile bounty hunter, uh, see, he's four or five feet behind you. He'll walk right All in. All right. I'm uh, small talking on the way over. I'm trying to distract and confuse his brain where I'm just kind of reciting uh, my favorite uh, Bith uh, fan fiction. They're kind of like the bulbous headed musicians in the Moss Eisley Cantina. And I'm like, you know, I really ship the blue eyed one with the green eyed one. And I've named one of them uh, Alungalung, and the other one's named uh, Paywalla. And I'm really good at writing this. Blue and I, eyes. Green eyes. I, I I can see different spectrums than normal creatures. And then I open the door to the training yeah. room and I'm like, 
All right, let me get those recordings to you, and I just go straight to the back. A different, different <laughs> spectrum. <laughs> you're, you're on a spectrum. I am. I'm on several. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Giovanna. What are we going to do with him? <laughs> he, Hopefully not um, shoot about, me in the back. I killed me. <laughs> he about steps over the threshold and pauses. All of you I pass can gas. hear a little beeping. Not from the mouse droids, but I guess what the equivalent of a collar would be underneath his breastplate. He kind of stops. What? What? Sets the rifle to the uh, side, leans it against the doorway, reaches inside, pulls out little diagnostic tablet. His ship's trying to send him some kind of message. Request for boarding. Who else is here? Uh, uh my sister. You saw her, the simple one. My younger sister. Another ship. My younger sister. There's only supposed to be two ships, not, not three ships. They're third Hold on, ship. let's count it. There's a third ship, are you sure? I only remember two. There was me and there was you. Pow and Spore, and I suppose Lyra as well. Mm -hmm. What do you all do? I mean, I would shoot him the second he, like, put his stuff down. Like, he's distracted. Oh, shit. Um, or oh. Lyra... Lyra would be kind of like slowly creeping, like to get close to the door. Okay, that sounds like a perfect time for everyone to roll me initiative. Oh gosh. <laughs> 17! Oh. 17 is not bad. My roll 20 is 18. being weird, so I'm just going to roll. Um, Our virtual I have, tabletop. Yes. I have 15. Yes, fantasy grounds. We've had some fantasy yes. grounds issues. Uh, I think there's a server thing going on right now. <clears throat> Last time it was definitely me. This time I sh probably should have checked before we started. You know, like more than five minutes before the game started. <clears throat> It was so my far, fault. I'm seeing... uh, okay, let's see. Right. I will need one from Lyra and Spore as well. So far, I am seeing this bounty hunter got a six. I Pal got eighteen. Got a five. That. I got fifteen. Spore is at a fifteen. 18. Lyra is at a fifteen. No, oh, my bad. I'm looking at numbers and then I'm trying to say them. <laughs> to say different numbers. <laughs> if my math is right, I think that means Spore goes first. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> I guess he uh, he was curled up in the corner, but I guess he just sprang into action suddenly. You can hold your action and remain curled for now if you want. Mm. No, he's going to, in, in a fit of panic, just like blindly turn around and try and shoot with his blaster pistol. So, okay. I will uh, roll. Roll me an attack check. Tell me what you get. 18 again. 18? Mm -hmm. Seems like it'll do the job. Woo! Great. Cool. Uh, blaster pistol is either 3d6 or 3d8. I have 3d6. Anyone off the top of their head? 3d6 okay. for a regular pistol. Uh, that's, mm -hmm. So I was rolling that and I got 7 damage. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, the spore hops out behind some kind of barricades that normally a target would be jumping out of. But the pistol is drawn. The blast uh, fires forth. Makes contact. With this dude right around the breastplate area. A um, little bit of the armor, a little bit of his neck. I think that would take us to Giovanna. 
All right, I'm firing up my lightsaber. Jink, jink, jink. And cut that guy's head <laughs> off. Roll me a jink, jink, jink. Uh, <laughs> all right. Well, I could roll you a jink, 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 but uh, all right. Let's 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 try this. <laughs> and that one, oh, I killed oh, no. myself. Oh, no. Uh, oh, oh, <laughs> there no. goes my head tails. <laughs> one of them. Oh, no. Ooh, that would hurt. Oh, <laughs> Oh, not one. Uh, Giovanna, go ahead and roll me your damage. I have advantage. I'm using advantage. Oh, I do. Why do you have advantage? Because there was a donation from the Greyhawk channel. Bastion told us in chat, oh. and they gave it to me okay. and Shana. Mm-hmm. Thank you, DM Shane. You saved him from damage. Ah, oh, hey! Not wow. 20. Yeah. What? <laughs> what? Hey, hey. Suck it! You're going to be with on that bad end. Wow. <laughs> Thank you, Shane. Ooh. Wow. You are giving me wait, 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 going from the uh, nat 1 to the nat 20 there. Okay. With your training level uh, with this lightsaber, I believe you're doing 3d8 right now. You're not a... Uh, yeah. I'm proficient. The but, uh, so is that, is that doubled because it's a critical hit? It certainly is. Roll me double dice. And I'm doing lightsabers <laughs> a little differently in this. It's I like ahead. to uh, really emphasize that they do lots of damage to people. <clears throat> yeah, I like that too. I love Star Wars being a, a very deadly role-playing game. And you're doing a great job. So 29 oh points of damage. Snick, 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 snick. Sushi rolls. <laughs> Here's what happens with that series of rolls. <clears throat> he jumps and is startled from the purple. What color was your blade? Uh, my blade was, uh, was it yellow? It was a couple weeks. Or I think you might not have even been there to decide. No, I don't think okay. I was no, there. Okay, so I still have my green one. I like oh, the, the idea that one. maybe I, I always pictured mine being yellow, like a Sentinel's okay. lightsaber. Yeah. That is fine. We actually have two yellows, Spore and Giovanno. No, I think the oh gosh. P blades. Yellowish orange, yeah. I think the rest of you went with like uh all purple, actually. Yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> purple green. Mine's pumpkin orange. No, it's yellow. Oh. Mine's lemon yellow. Pumpkin. Unacceptable uh, as I cut him. Twenty nine points. As the uh as the lemon grab lightsaber ignites, it bathes. <laughs> This man and Giovanno in a yellow light. <clears throat> the light coming off of Giovanno, almost a strange green, mixing with the hues of his skin. Yeah. This man jumps, and his bounty hunter training is evident. <clears throat> he doesn't go for the blade of your lightsaber, nor does he go for his gun. His hands just jut out and smack into the handle of yours, knocking it just for a moment out of your hand. <clears throat> but feeling especially inspired you pull it back you're not going to let it hit anyone else you're not going to let it fall through the ground what could be a devastating devastating (laughs) problem in space yeah I like teleport behind him nothing personal samurai sword him (laughs) right I I meme him Uh, this is not deviant art roleplay this is twitch roleplay it's a little different (laughs) (laughs) My OC. My hedgehog OC. Uh, roll me a D6. The Jedi often use a six zone combat style. Being uh, one, right. two, three, four uh, legs, five. Yeah, yeah. I got a six. Oh. <clears throat> I got a testicles, Your... right? <laughs> <laughs> the six is going to be this man's left leg as he's throwing his arms up. You're not sure how strong this Mandalorian armor is. You spy a weak point in this conglomeration. It is met with hissing, liquid pouring out, not blood immediately, bright blue, some kind of Bacta that it's running all the time inside the suit. <clears throat> the leg is damn near halfway cut off. You get to the bone, at least you're sure. There's movement, they're shoving, he's being shot, he's falling backwards. <clears throat> the lightsaber is pulled free. It seems like you've dealt a uh, pretty serious blow to this man. 
first hitting his leg and then maybe a little more upwards into the torso and mm. maybe some intestines. That brings us to our next turn. Uh, let's see, we had 17. I think that means Lyra, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Um, you, like, adopting a um, aggressive attack stance, uh, Lyra would start, like, creeping into the room, and you hear this zoom as her lightsaber ignites, and um, she, like, peeks her head around. And can I, like, quickly um, head tail talk to Geo before I strike? Do you have telepathy? Just out of curiosity. Mm. Do we have telepathy? I might. I don't know. Uh, I just know we have that like head tail thing. That's all. Okay. I do not. Uh, we have a short, head tail short language. message. You can deliver a very short message. Oh, um, she peeks over, sees like the like how it's. A pretty devastating blow, and she's like, "Do I kill him?" Yeah, yeah, you you okay, do that. He said you were younger she, than me and all that stuff. So, just like in that quick blink of a moment, she immediately launches forward and tries to strike. And can I use a nat twenty? <laughs> you certainly can. Please roll me uh, sixty-eight. With pleasure. <laughs> That is 26 points of damage. 26 points. Uh, please roll me one more d6 as well. And tell me what you get. Or is it, are they d8 or? Um, roll me the a d6. The ones were d8, right. but now the d6. Okay. Three. Three. Three is going to be one, two, three, right in the middle of the chest. <clears throat> Ooh. You are, in your training, not used to uh, resistance. When you hit things with a lightsaber, it's not so much of a hit. Your lightsaber doesn't slow down. It just goes through them and people die. You stab forward at a vital zone of this man. Your lightsaber stops thunking against his armor and slowly melting through to his chest. As it starts melting through, more of the back than his uh, healing suit system starts spraying out all over your face and hissing and smoking against your lightsaber. Oh no. I like thunk and I'm like staring at him directly in the eyes and um, does that do anything to me or no. I like try to like wipe no. some of it off my face. I'm like, ugh. He rolled an 18 on a fortitude check. He's on his feet still. He's a little unsure what's going on, but it seems that as though you have not killed this man yet. <clears throat> yes. <laughs> well, the way this thing's going. Oh. <clears throat> okay, 17. Six. So he's going to get a turn. And then Shauna. God, I'm not so bad. Uh, let's see. Can roll a d20. Oof. He gets a 21. <clears throat> His eyes go big, blinking unevenly. He's not sure what to do. <clears throat> he looks at the lot of you. Looks at the explosive uh, trigger in his hand. His free hand, instead of going towards the gun, goes up to his shoulder, grabs a little bit of a rip cord, yanks a string. All the thermal detonators uh, on his bandolier, a dozen or so. <clears throat> Little lights turn on, bright red. They pop off of the bandolier and just fall to the ground at his feet. How? It is your turn. You can recognize a thermal detonator uh, when you see one. Um, poof. Um, what would it be to, like, kind of, like, just dive and just kind of like push as many of them out of the uh, the room as possible. Like I'm not going to take an attack on him. I'm going to just try and push those things. You could use a move objects us. check to use your force abilities if you wanted to. Cool. He wants to, he wants to dive I, on the uh, grenade. 
or not dive on, just like push, like just kind of like be able to like jump and push, move object is. You want? Know you know what? I'm gonna use my crit and move object. That'll be fine. Uh, power and training really kicks just... in. Normally, someone would dive in this situation. At least try to uh, absorb most of the impact, save one or two <clears throat> uh, comrades. The Force whispers to you in this state of heightened emotions. <clears throat> Not ever being much for training in the Force and more of actual hand-to-hand -hand combat. <clears throat> it feels a little strange, but it also comes naturally. Mm -hmm. You move your hand out with a crit. They all go flying backwards <clears throat> into the far end of Javan's ship. And they will explode. A good thing it's a sturdy the ship. Room is, <laughs> the training room's rocked. Uh, <clears throat> oh yeah, very, very sturdy ship. Huh? Okay. <laughs> Both ships are rocked in a maelstrom. The fire. Lyra, the only thing uh, keeping your lightsaber from going all over the place and eviscerating the sky is the hold it seems to have. You were able to get it through in one point, but it's just as slow moving up or down anywhere else. <clears throat> Shauna, you can do one more thing. What does Pound do the rest of her turn? Um... I can't shoot him, can I? Yeah, you could. Okay, I'm shoot. Yep, I'll shoot him. All right. Um, all right. Plus six. And there we go. Cool. You rolled a twenty-three, and you didn't even use a crit this time. Mm. Okay, uh, and go and ahead and describe to everybody how you kill this bounty hunter. So we just kind of push it, push the thing, push the thermal detonators. They explode. He's kind of, it, he kind of like goes off his like he's off balance and just kind of like shore up and just kind of hit him in the just in the head, unarmored head. That is the one zone where he has absolutely no cover and no back to instantly healing his wounds. <clears throat> the blaster bolt finds its mark right in between his large reptilian eyes. The body stumbles and falls backwards off of Lyra's lightsaber. <clears throat> hits the ground with a loud metallic thud and doesn't go limp. <clears throat> Maybe Pao's seen this before. I don't know about the rest of you. <clears throat> the body, the nervous system, the muscles start contracting, and <clears throat> there's twitching, uh, flailing of the hands for a moment. It kind of just rocks in its armor back and forth a little bit, almost like it's being electrocuted, <clears throat> and finally goes limp. <laughs> Lyra's just staring at Pow, like, <laughs> like the body just fell, and she's like, "How?" You just nice. see, like, she, she doesn't. <laughs> yeah, she just doesn't have any like. She just it 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 doesn't like trick her in any way. It's just like it's normal. <laughs> it's terrible. <laughs> Scary. Scary yeah. children. Yeah. There is a another rocking of the two ships. As whichever third ship this bounty hunter was talking about boards, not your ship, but somewhere else in the bounty hunter ship. <clears throat> Hope it wasn't his brother. That'd be awkward. Or his mom. <laughs> also, the awkward. damage to Javan's ship does seem pretty catastrophic. Uh, it might not be safe to stay here. So, Who knows how long this thing's yeah. gonna hold up. Yeah, Lyra we need to starts, get that. like motioning, like she's gonna grab Ezla, and, mm -hmm. like we have to get out of here and start running towards other ship. Yeah, yeah. is Take... Ezla passed out drunk again? I warned you. All right, she like, I, um... slaps Ezla, like wake up. 
Yeah, I look at sports like we need to take him in case we need to operate the ship. Uh, okay. Yes. Or could probably carry by by himself. Okay. All right. So. Oh, like the uh, the uh, Trandoshan's body. Mm-hmm. In case there's like biometric stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah let's let's drag this guy. We need that ship. This ship is no good anymore. <laughs> no, the this armor, ship is done. This, the armor this Trandoshan is wearing is uh, heavy. A couple hundred pounds at least. It will take at least yeah, two of you. You can. Ah. Yeah. You can so, grab it and start dragging him out of here. Yeah. yeah. The mouse droids return directly back underfoot, the little surveillance bot watching you, but receiving no order to explode. They are not yet exploding. <clears throat> That's good. Stay in the ship all they want. <laughs> Collapse uh, alarm. I'm making sure Spore does most of the work. So. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Spore, you're getting some exercise. Ugh, the klaxon alarms turn off as the ship's systems are being overridden from a remote uh, computer. Magnets kick in, <clears throat> holding the ship together. The life support system kicking off. The doors forcing themselves to stay wide open. And the lot of you can get over onto the bounty hunter ship. <clears throat> the second you cross the threshold into the ship, both sets of doors slam closed. Javins not making a completely tight seal, but this ship <clears throat> making a seal. There is a ladder that heads up to some kind of cockpit in this ship, the main control area the one that this bounty hunter jumped down from. <clears throat> you can hear the hum of an ignited lightsaber from the cockpit. Yeah. So we could hear a hum of a lightsaber? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um... I think Lyra would be really curious as to what that is. So can she very stealthily try to peek? I mean, like, she's the also, ladder, um, oh, go ahead. The ladder to the cockpit goes up a good 15 feet. You'd have to climb up it. And then she looks to her friends and she's like, should I go up? No. <laughs> and no. then she sees Geo nodding. She's like, no. okay. <laughs> like, um, It'll be okay, sis. I believe in you. We can't stay down here this whole time. So I can't, oh. like, I'm not capable of putting the, the dead guy on top of me and then climbing so his head pops oh. up. I'm not, or can I just like chop his head off and put it on my top of my head? Oh, yeah. God, yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> can I do that? Do it. Yes. Wait, can we I also can, have I fan can art carefully of surgically remove, remove it. You can wear oh, like a mask. Give me some puppet. time. I gotta remove it from the skull. Oh. I like that we hear the lightsaber and then we're like, hang on, let's saw this guy's head off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, it'll take a second, like, you know. <laughs> I don't know, he's just, you just, we're just freaking out. And this is like what he's thinking of doing. He's like, I don't know, I'm gonna cut his head off. I'm gonna put his head on my head. I'm gonna go out oh, there. That's a legit I, know, you, uh, I don't think we have to Leo, cut do off you climb head the like ladder or does, Do you climb the ladder or the spore uh, try to remove that head somehow? <laughs> I'm, I'm going to remove Here's how it works. I, I'm not so much interested uh, in removing the head as the flesh on the outside. This is a basic surgical procedure. It's not that hard. I've worked in a lot of operating rooms. Oh my god! So well, I, he's talking about this, we're just okay, like, Grant has no say in this. <laughs> chop, chop the head off. That's slice it. Lyra, you like, said yeah, you were going to head up like there. Spore is talking to the rest of them about. <laughs> plans to remove skin or chop heads off. Yeah, um, she'll, like, just as she was, like, starting to climb up one rung of the ladder, she looks down, she's like, are you really doing this? 
<laughs> um, does the head come off severed? Or yeah, sports is lightsaber, right? We're going to force right? pike and raise it slowly. This is the war. This is she, like, has awesome. a lightsaber now. <laughs> starts, <laughs> Chop it. She, like, starts, like, going back down, and she's like, yeah, this definitely isn't going to end badly if that's family. <laughs> um, she's like, by all means, go up. <laughs> I mean, can I, can I, can I really want to see what this Spore, you said you're gonna activate a lightsaber? Yeah, don't I have one? You now turn the I... yellow blade on as the sound orange. activates. Orange. Orange. As the orange blade activates, the hum from upstairs stops. Lightsaber retracts. <laughs> 